these buildings had a great deal of redundancy. In fact, the World Trade Center's original engineers had even done calculations to see what would happen if a Boeing 707, a slightly smaller aircraft than the 767s involved in 9-11, struck the building by accident. And they concluded that if an aircraft hit, that the buildings would not collapse, that they would be able to take that hit and stand up. We had designed the project for the impact of the our largest airplane of its time, the, the Boeing 707. That is to take this jet airplane, run it into the building, destroy a lot of structure, and still have it stand up. Well, 13,000 tons is a lot of force. Uh, people always talk about an airplane crashing into a building. And in 1944 or 45, a plane did crash into the Empire State Building. But the largest aircraft flying today, at least commercially, the 747, fully loaded, is on the order of 300 tons. So if you think about a 300-ton element crashing into a building that's been designed to carry 13,000 tons, you can see that an aircraft crashing into the World Trade Center would probably not do anything to the major building. It could affect localized structural elements, could knock out a column, and there could be some, some damage. But as far as a plane knocking a building over of that type, that would not happen. The building was designed to have a fully loaded 707 crash into it. That was the largest plane at the time. I believe that the building probably could sustain multiple impacts of jetliners because this structure is like the mosquito netting on your screen door this intense grid and the jet plane is just a pencil puncturing that screen netting it really does nothing to the screen netting 